The Zerg, lured by the Siamander's signal, descended upon the unsuspecting Confederate forces and annihilated them. Once again, the Protoss fleet under the command of High Templar Tassadar arrived and incinerated the planet. Hello everybody and welcome back to StarCraft. Greetings, Commander. Receiving incoming transmission. The time of our final strike against the Confederacy is close at hand. Before we can strike at Tarsomus itself, however, we must break through the Confederacy's most potent defenses. General Duke will brief you. I've defended Tarsonus in over 30 major battles, so I know its defenses inside and out. There are three primary orbital platforms that serve as staging areas for the Confederate fleet. If we assault the central platform, we should cause enough of a ruckus to allow a small force to break through the planetary defenses. General, I'm impressed. I never figured you'd be the frontal assault type. Well, the Confederates have Omega and Delta Squadron troops defended the platform. And they're nothing compared to my Alpha Squadron boys. Right. Okay then, so we need to eliminate the Confederate forces and Duke must survive. Well, let's see what we can do here. Okay, we can take over abandoned Terran add-ons by landing our own buildings next to them. Good to know. Uh, we do not currently have any anywhere to go. <laughs> Looks like we need to hop into our flight and uh, hop into our transports and find ourselves somewhere to land. And... This equipment behind. That's what I call sloppy. Okay. Right. So this is where we're intended to land, it looks like. All right, Sounds good. So we'll land our command center right over... Oh, it wants us to land it here. Okay. That's fine. We'll land our starport. Do they have an add-on for the starport anywhere? I think this is the add-on here. We have a science facility here which will land here. We have a barracks, which will land where exactly? I'm not exactly sure where the barracks will land, but we'll get to that in a moment. We've got a factory, which can land here. Roger that. And we have a second command center. Interesting. Oh, and it can land up here. I gotcha. And then the barracks can go like anywhere. Use ghosts to target nuclear missiles. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, so we should definitely drop our drop our units here. You as well. Okay, now that we've got some SCVs, we'll get these guys mining, and we will go ahead and queue up a few more, but we can't yet. We need to build ourselves a supply depot. So let's get that going. We can get ourselves some siege tanks. We can get ourselves a science vessel or some wraiths. I kind of want to take these wraiths. Oh, we can't cloak yet. We should research that. But we don't have any Vespine gas currently. We'll build a refinery down here. Excellent. Okay, go mine. Once we have the ability to cloak, then that'll change some things. Let's get some SCVs rolling up here as well. And as soon as we can, down here too. Okay, excellent. You can just go ahead and keep mining the Vespine gas. There we go. And let's queue this up. Now go ahead and mine. You'll be fine. And you can mine as well. So the cloaking ability costs 150 gas. That's fine. We'll have that soon enough. Okay, so I would like to get us another SCV up here. We're going to also need ourselves some, uh, <laughs> some more supplies. 
you can come on over here. And I think we're reasonably good-ish with five on each. So let's get one more over here. And then we will definitely need some supplies. So let's get a supply depot ready to go. I'll go ahead and drop that off. Now build us a supply depot. Fantastic. And we can now get ourselves a cloaking field. Or not. <laughs> we need ourselves a little bit more minerals. These guys are not yet mining though, so they should probably be doing that. Okay, so we can get ourselves our wraith cloaking, which we shall do. Fantastic. And I feel like we probably want to get at least a couple of marines out. We'll have these marines be here. This is General Duke, right? No, that's just a ghost. Just a generic ghost. And we've got two of them. This is General Duke. Okay, so he has to live. Gotcha. Well, I kind of want to know what I'm up against. So, let's head out a little bit here. Now, I don't want to lose a Wraith, so let's pull back and have this SCV repair. There we go. So there are a couple of Marines up there. We'll be able to deal with them pretty quickly. As soon as this repair is done, we'll be more than ready for that. We could build additional Wraiths. We should probably get ourselves a science vessel out as soon as we can. There's no... There's no Vespin Geyser over there, so we should probably get ourselves a couple more SCVs over here to harvest out of this refinery. Something along the lines of this. And we are currently floating a fair number of minerals, so let's queue up a few marines. Just to deal with that a little bit. And I think we should probably build ourselves an engineering bay. So let's get this guy over here. Engineering Bay is under standard. Yep, there it is. Excellent. Okay, these these wraiths can now cloak. So let's pull them up here. Do so. Ah, they scanned. That's what that effect is. So they just scanned our wraiths. That scan will probably go away momentarily. Oh, there is a turret over there. And there's a turret right there as well. Oof, we lost a wraith. Go ahead and decloak, guys. So we're going to need to do a ground attack up here for sure. So let's go ahead and head on up here. I actually want to leave our ghosts at home for now. Let's queue up a few more marines, and we should probably get ourselves a second barracks. So build us a second barracks. Excellent. This guy can come up here in mine, and we can start upgrading infantry weapons one. But I just want to do a bit of a mass marine attack up here, see what we can get. They do have a goliath, which is unfortunate. So let's go ahead and take out their goliaths. And they've got themselves another marine here, and another goliath. That is a lot of goliaths. Okay. We should probably get some of our own. So, we require an armory for that. As soon as you're done building the second barracks, I want you to build me an armory. So, that will be done momentarily. Let's do this. Come on. There we go. Build me an armor. ASAP. Get over here. Where's our science vessel? No, seriously, where is our science vessel? Do we not have one? I thought we started with one, but maybe we don't have one. We should get one, but we don't have the gas for it. It takes 225. We'll have enough momentarily. There we go. We also desperately need more more supplies, so let's go ahead and get those before we get too supply blocked. Excellent. 
And then from our factory, we will be needing some Goliaths. And I think we're going to be kind of spamming Goliaths. I do rather like them as a unit. Like Goliaths and Marines. If only we could build Medivacs. That would be nice. <laughs> but alas, that is definitely not the case. Let's see, vehicle weapons level one as soon as we have the Vespine gas. But for right now, I think we are better off spending that on a pair of Goliaths. And let's also get ourselves some six Marines out. Excellent. We also need some more supplies. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, there's a Goliath right there. Finish him off. Lovely. <laughs> okay. So let's just go ahead and sit right about here. And in the meantime, let's uh, get our Goliaths up here. So with two Goliaths and the rest of them being Marines, I think we'll be okay for now. Now, as far as what it said about using ghosts to defeat nuclear missiles, I'm not sure what that meant, unless they mean a nuclear silo? Like this one? I mean, we could, we could nuke them. That wouldn't be the worst. Try to break these defenses a little bit. But first, I want to test them. So let's uh, let's make a small attack here. I do want to queue up a couple of Goliaths before we do this, as well as several more Marines, like so. And then I would like to hit just this bunker, if possible. Well, the guy's outside of the bunker first. Okay, so they have a lot of enemies coming in. And a siege tank. Retreat. Okay, we need to use our ghosts, I think. Oh no, they fell back. That's nice of them. <laughs> Let's get a wraith up, but more importantly, I want to get... Well, I, I want to get a third Vespine Gas Harvester, or rather a fourth Vespine Gas Harvester. And let's get another SCV mining over here. Okay, so with this force here, let's go ahead and queue up a few more Marines and one more Goliath. In fact, one more after this as well. Okay. I don't quite want to attack with this force yet. Um, I kind of want to attack with these wraiths, though. And let's see what's up here. Looks like they backed off. Okay. In that case, I'm going to queue up a bunch of marines as well as another goliath. And we are going to attack with this force right here. We did take out one bunker, so that was kind of worthwhile. Let's take out this siege tank. Oof, they have so much. They have so much here. Taking out this missile turret would be kind of a big deal. But I think what we really need in order to break that line isn't Goliaths, but rather siege tanks. So let's go ahead and get another siege tank up and running as soon as we can. This guy needs to be mining. Because if we can break this defensive line, then we're going to be able to do a lot of damage to them, is the thing. So let's have this science vessel ready to go, and let's also build a tank or two. Probably two. We do have the NORAD 2 here, and that can be repaired. Okay, we've got this tank. We do not have siege mode activated yet, so we need 150 to, to get that. And it's not really worth attacking with tanks until we have siege mode, in my opinion. So let's just wait for the Vespian gas for that. And you should probably be mining. We don't need to have that idle villager. And by villager, of course, I mean SCV. I don't know why I said villager. It's been years since I've played Age of Empires. <laughs> but I've actually been considering playing it for the channel. 
Could be kind of interesting. Okay, so let's get this Siege Tank ability right now. As soon as we have that, we'll be ready to go. We could also consider up a few other upgrades, but we have so little gas income, it's so far away from our command center is the thing. We do, of course, have a nuclear silo here. In fact, we have two of them. And we could nuke this structure up here. I don't know how much... I don't know how big nukes are. But it is a possibility. But I think we'll be okay breaking it as soon as we have our... As soon as we have our siege tank ready to go. So let's build one more tank. And then once that tank is ready to go, then we'll be ready to make this attack. If we can take out these missile turrets, that'll be a big deal. A very, very big deal indeed. The real question, of course, is have any of these attacks been worthwhile? Well, we are able to take out a lot of those guys. They did almost nothing. Although they almost killed this ghost. Okay, so. We are now ready to go. So let's go ahead and head on out this way. Oof. What do we got over here? We've got Wraiths. Goliath, get over here. Science Chip, get over here. Okay. Defense Matrix on the Goliath. And we should be good. Kill that Wraith. Excellent. Okay, I want you guys to siege up. I want you to siege up as well. We need a defense matrix up here. Very soon. Oh, looks like we're good. This isn't the science ship. Science ship, I need you up here. Defense matrix on this guy. So far, so good. We managed to hold that off anyway, their counterattack. Let's get on up here. We need ourselves several more tanks. There we go. We did, in fact, lose that tank, which is super unfortunate. And here comes another Goliath and yet another tank. Man. Okay. I think we need to just nuke it. I think that's all there is to it. We're having a really hard time breaking this position, so I think we just save up the Vespine gas. We're almost there. And then we arm this nuclear silo and see what we can do. Come on, just a little bit more Vespine gas. Almost there. Two more. One more. Okay, let's start nuking this. I just... This structure is obnoxious to break. We can't get through it with cloaks. We can't get through it with siege tanks because they have so many goliaths and such that they just throw at us. I mean, sure, we could build larger armies, but... Controlling them is a pain in StarCraft 1. We should probably consider building ourselves another supply depot, though. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Let's queue up a bunch of marines and float some less some some fewer minerals. Fantastic. And let's also get ourselves a single Goliath up and running. We do have this guy still. You want a piece of me, boy? How long on this nuke? Not too bad, actually. So I'm kind of thinking nuking, like, right here. We'll see how big it actually is. Okay, so the nuke is ready. But we have to use a ghost to launch a nuke, don't we? So I think we need to construct ourselves something to construct a ghost with. And I actually don't know how to do that. So, uh, let's see here. I think it's a ghost academy or something. Along those lines. 
We've got an academy, right? Your forces are under attack. I'm not convinced we do. Oh, come on, guys. Please stop. That is just obnoxious. Are you quite finished? Like, I think we're just gonna leave this guy over here while we build some turrets up here. So, like, build a turret here. Well, build a turret here. Get out of the way, you Goliath. Get out of there. So we need some more SCVs. They've kind of wrecked our economy a bit. And let's do this. In the meantime, I was trying, before that happened, to build an academy. So let's go ahead and do that. And as soon as we have a little bit more Vespian gas, which it looks like they killed most of our Vespian gas harvesters, which that really sucks. Okay, we'll put several into there. We need, I think, another turret or two over here just to fully defend this territory. And in the meantime, this over here is almost done. I don't know for a fact that academies are how you build ghosts, but... I mean, we've been at this for a long time, and I've barely made any dent in their structure. We gotta do something. This just is not working. We do have more nukes ready to go. Okay, so that is indeed not where you do that. So where do you build a ghost out of? Science facilities? No. I'm really confused. Where do you build ghosts? I thought it was a ghost facility, or a, a, a ghost academy. But that might be StarCraft 2? Do you build them out of a barracks? Oh, you build them out of the barracks! What am I doing? Okay. That was interesting. <laughs> So that's definitely different from StarCraft 2. Yeah, we can't build any more supply depots. We've got this SCV here. Well, we can build supply depots. We can't build SCVs, is what I meant to say. But we've made almost no progress here in all of this time. So we desperately need to get some stuff rolling. Oh, great. Here they come. Get out of here, you jerks. Okay, I want you guys to just sit right here. There we go. That ought to hold off attacks for a while. Theoretically. Okay, we do need to get more supply depots up and running. But with these ghosts, we should be able to call in our nuclear strikes, if I am understanding this correctly. Yes, indeed. Let's get ourselves a nuclear strike right there. Oof. Well, that didn't work. We need covert ops researched. So we do that right here, personal cloaking. Come on, take out those wraiths. Holy crap. Those wraiths take a lot of damage to kill. Well, let's queue up a few more marines while we're waiting for, for covert ops to finish up. And in the meantime, I do feel like we should probably be working on infantry armor one. But as soon as we can cloak, that'll be a, a big bonus for us. We do have two nukes ready to go. So let's... Come on, get done here. I still can't believe we've made no progress. That's ridiculous. Okay. Go ahead and cloak. And come on up here. We need a nuclear strike right here. Really? Well cloaked. Okay. So how are we supposed to break this? I guess we have to drop one here? You want a piece of me, boy? 
Man, this is ridiculous. They just, like, instantly scan. I don't get it. AI is cheating. Or something. Okay, so, uh... We just need to continue holding this position and continue throwing ghost nukes at him, I think. There we go. We've got another ghost ready to go. Excellent. And... Wait. Wait a second. It used both of our nukes up? Okay, now I'm really confused. Okay, well, let's just do this the old-fashioned way, I guess. We need to get these guys up here. Guys, I don't want you in that formation at all. Like, what are you doing? Get, get back here. Stop. Please, stop. And this tank is uh, chasing us in, but we can destroy it with our tank. Or with our tanks, plural. Okay, get up here and just hold position. I want our tanks to de-siege and get up here. We have to break this line. There's no way around it. So I need you guys to deploy right here. Well, we'll see if they respond. Here's their response. Pull back a bit. Let's get our science vessel up here. Okay. We'll hold off their, uh, their damage, like so. Okay. Let's push forward ever so slightly. We finally broke this line a little bit. Ah, not there. Not there. Not there. Oh, he couldn't move. Oh, well. I did not want him to go that far forward, but I guess it works. I'm still a little bit confused. And we're basically out of minerals. Like, this should have been broken a long time ago. Clearly, this was not supposed to be this hard, but they just kept coming. Well, we need to take out this missile turret, for sure. We're finally making some progress. So that's good. Even though we've basically mined out everything. <laughs> but whatever, I guess. We don't need this SCV, but everyone else here, come on up. The siege tank is almost dead. But we are still getting some use out of it, which is excellent. I want everybody to push up, other than the siege tank. Siege tank, I actually do want you to push up as well. Well, not into the... Gu guys. Guys. Stop. Guys. <laughs> Don't push into there. And they've got a battle cruiser coming in. We need to eliminate this ASAP. We need our science vessel. There we go. That should allow us to kill these. Excellent. Okay. And they've got a Goliath right there, because of course they do. Well, let's kill that Goliath. There we go. And we do have a couple more siege tanks ready to go. So let's just uh, keep doing what we're doing, I guess. Okay, siege tanks, back off. Get out. Get out of there. Deploy. They're going to drop back here, I think. Okay, we've got a cluster of three siege tanks here that's uh, not going to be sufficient. But we could do a defense matrix, matrix on this one, and that should help them hold. 
They're just uh, insane amounts of enemies. Did they drop over here? No, I don't think they did. And here comes a wraith. Come on, let me let me select the marines. There we go. Sheesh. I clicked on them like 12 times and it was just selecting the one. Okay. We need an SCV up here to repair this tank, is what we need. Of course it is. Go repair that turret. Okay. We are finally starting to make a bit of progress. But this is getting insane. Okay, I want you to be positioned a bit ahead. I want you to start leapfrogging. Where we can cover each other's advance. So just right here. This one has finished being repaired. Come on down in mine. So come on up. You guys, I want you to attack over here. Okay. We're finally able to hit their supplies a bit. There we go. I think we finally broke their line. So that's excellent. I want you to deploy right there. I want both of you to undeploy. I want you guys up here. Go ahead and deploy. And here's some production facilities. That's great. Deploy right here. Okay. We need a few more marines to defend this push. So come on up. Kill that Goliath. Fantastic. You guys start attacking. I think we finally got this push under control. Incredible. Two more tanks. And let's get a million more marines up and running. These two tanks can go ahead and undeploy. Come on up here. And deploy. Oh, I don't want you to... I, I do not want you to deploy there. I want you to undeploy. Come on over here. Deploy here. You can undeploy now. And I want you up here. Marines, go ahead and hit their mineral line. Like, hit up here. And you can go ahead and deploy. Okay. So we pushed through this base. Now the question is, how many more bases are there? <laughs> Let's see about going and taking this out with these marines here. But now that we've pushed through their at least one of their production bases, this is going to get far easier. Okay, get over here. Yeah, that's kind of to be expected. Okay. Let's bring this tank to support this push up over here. Okay, they've got guys up there. We are going to need to... Come on back over here, guys. We're going to need to get vision up here and take out that bunker from a distance. But let's go ahead and bring our tanks up there. These guys can keep attacking over here. That's fine. I'm fine with them doing that. So I want you guys up over here. Go ahead and deploy right there. And I want you up here and deploy. We are going to need to bring a ship up here. In fact, we might as well bring everybody up. Well, those up. And let's bring something that can see up this wall up over here. These guys I want to hit up over here. Because we want to take out this turret for sure and any others along the way. So come on up here, guys. Okay, just attack move your way down this way. You'll get there eventually. 
Fantastic. Okay, now we need to be able to see up here. There we go. And I'd like these tanks to sit over here in a defensive posture. This one no longer needs to be here. But I would rather it be right down here. Let's take a quick peek up here and see what else is up here other than that bunker. Okay, we do have ourselves a turret, but we can hit it from where we are. I don't think they're going to be breaking that tank line anytime soon. They had a control tower here, as well as some dropships. Okay, and let's take one squad of marines and head up this way and see what we can find. There are a bunch of minerals. Oh, there's an attack over here. Fall back. Fall back to the tank line. Go on, fall back. Okay. Fight them. They're just gonna all die. <laughs> That's completely fine. I'm gonna queue up another group of marines. In the meantime, these marines can come on over this way. Excellent. And these marines can come on over this way again. I do want to group up our tanks a wee bit more and like stick this tank right over here so that we hold this area much more securely. And let's just keep on exploring, see what else we can find in terms of enemies. Looks like not a ton. These guys have reached the end of where they're going so they can come up here and defend our tanks. Looks like that's all there is up here. We know there's something across here. So I would kind of like this squad to come down here and start exploring this. These guys can come up here. And in fact, both of our barracks can come up here. Oh boy, this is, this is taking a long time. <laughs> you know what? We did two episodes in one. Well, I mean, we, we're probably close to the end. So I don't think I'm going to put a cut in. I was thinking about doing it, but we are very, very close. I, I just want to find out right there. Oh, okay. That's fine. We'll just get some vision up there. There we go. Got ourselves some vision. Okay, all of these guys. Come on up here. We're just going to keep looking for enemies. Want to make sure our back line is clear. So come on up. Nothing? Okay. Come on over here. As far as these guys are concerned, let's push on down here and see what else there is. Looks like absolutely nothing. In that case, we're moving our tanks. We're moving our tanks to cover this bridge. And these guys are going to come on down this way. Realistically, there's probably going to be another choke point up here, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so tanks are going to be going up there. Where are, where are our other tanks? Here's one. And here's the other. Why is it here? <laughs> come on up here. Okay, I want this marine squad here. I want this marine squad to push forward. Let's see what else we've got. They've got the high ground up here, that's for sure. But that's fine. Okay, so we do see a bunch of enemies down here. I want you guys right up over here in siege mode. They are not to push past there. Okay, let's scout out this high ground up here. They have vision on it, apparently. Okay, there's a turret right here. Let's take that out. Fantastic. Here's another one. They have a Goliath coming in after us. That's fine. Their defenses are now finally starting to crumble. Okay, so tanks.
go ahead and de-siege. And we're going to have these guys come on up over here. And tanks, follow them up. Want you guys right up over here. You guys can continue to clear out these missile turrets. So we know they've got at least one base left. And we know it's like right here. So I would like to stick our tanks like come come on, stop it. Like right up over here. There we go. From here, we should have a good vantage point. I want you guys to hold right up here. Excellent. That is super excellent, in fact. Now, we appear to have lost our force down there. That's fine. Let's queue up a few more marines. They can continue to throw guys away. While we rebuild our expeditionary force, if you want to call it that. <laughs> Like, they're losing tons of units right now. Oh, look at that. They've got some guys over here. There we go. They're still losing way more units than we are for this. There we go. Excellent. They have a Goliath over here, too. We'll be able to kill that. But we do need to uh, continue to do a lot of construction. Five tanks are definitely enough to hold this, it would appear. And they're just throwing away tons and tons of units trying to push us off of this. But we've got a wonderful defensive position here, so I'm perfectly fine with letting them do that. Well, we... Uh, we have a mini squad here at this point. So, how are we doing on this? Looks like they've stopped trying to push us off of this position, but they do keep trying to get that refinery. And they are still throwing some units at us. That's good. That's very, very good. Okay. So, let's go ahead and put some of these guys into this dropship. And then let's drop them right up over here. Yeah, they do have some guys that keep coming out from here. That's where they're coming from. Okay, well, we're going to go take out this. And in the meantime, we're going to keep building up our marine force over here. There we go. Go take out that missile turret. Excellent. Go, go, go. Let's move. Okay, let's get our let's get ourselves a couple more siege tanks, like five more siege tanks, and let's set up a similar position. Hello, look at this. We can do some damage from up here. Take out one of their supply depots. Two of their, three of their supply depots, actually. Excellent. Okay, let's unseige these three, and let's try pushing to the bottom of this ramp. With these guys down here, sieged up. Excellent. That's very nice. These two can now de-siege. We did lose one, but that's okay. And let's just go ahead and kill these guys, shall we? I want you guys to come on in as soon as you can. Take out this, I mean, taking out the machine shop isn't amazingly important. Missile turret is a bit more important. And then these guys can uh, just start making their way in, honestly. 
I, they, they don't have the production to keep this up. So we, uh, we've got control of this now. And that bunker will go down pretty quick. I'm going to go ahead and de-siege these two tanks. And we're going to position them basically right in here. Okay, we've got a battle cruiser. That's going to need some uh, special attention from our marines. Get up here, marines. Gotta take that thing down. Okay, we've got more marines flowing in. We got it. Nice. Gonna desiege these two tanks. And we're just gonna keep pushing in. Fantastic. These guys can come on up here. And in fact, at this point, we can just desiege everything. Well, that was a really slow start. But once we broke that initial line, they didn't have much to resist us with. So let's come on in. This base is just about dead. You guys can come up over here and find if there's any SCVs. This tank can come up over here. Well, looks like the SCVs are all gone. Fantastic. And I believe that should be the end. I hope, because this has been going on for a very long time. No? We have more enemies? Hang on. Oh, they have a battle cruiser right here. Okay. Get up here, Duke. I mean, we can kill it with just our marines. There's no way he can do that. So I guess he just has flight units around. Well, that's not annoying or anything. <laughs> Let's go scouting, I guess. Anything over here? Oh. He has a wraith up here. Gotcha. What else does he have? Well, let's just find out. It can't be much. Unless he's got a whole nother base up here. That would be obnoxious. Okay, let's see. Well, there is a bunch of stuff. Oh, look at that. There's another base up here. It's not much of a base, but it is a base. Okay, you go ahead and take that out. Duke, where are you at? I want you to come scout up here. Yeah, it should. Like, literally all that's here is a bunker and two supply depots. That's just annoying. Dropship, I want you to come up here and start scouting as well. So let's see what we can find. Man, at this point, this is a double-length episode. Should I split this into two in post? Nah. I won't do that. But what I will do is check all through here and see if, where they've got something else hidden. Oh, there is actually a way to get up there that we just never followed. Okay, Duke. Oh, look at that. Can you attack air targets? Hey, you can. Fantastic. Let's Yamato gun this. Okay. You guys, get up here. Our race will eventually take care of this, but Duke... Um, where are you going exactly? I want you to come kill these dropships. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, neither have I, so finish them off. Not enough energy? Okay. 125? Nope, 150. Okay. Well, finish off this dropship. Oh, that's our dropship. <laughs> there we go. That should be it under control. 
if we could eventually take care of that. Come on up here, guys. And there's that starport gone. Okay, I think that's everything that they have. I'm like 45% sure of that. I realize 45% isn't very sure, but I am reasonably sure. I'm, well, not amazingly sure, but I'm hopeful. <laughs> we'll put it that way. Okay, so that's, what, seven damage per? Ooh. No wonder that's taking forever. Well, we have some Marines on the way. It'll die pretty quick. Fantastic. There we go. Well, that, uh, I, I feel like that was harder than it needed to be. I feel like I was doing something horribly wrong. This is Duke. The emitters are secured and online. Who authorized the use of psi emitters? I did, Lieutenant. What? The Confederates on Antigua were bad enough, but now you're going to use the Zerg against an entire planet? This is insane. She's right, man. Think this through. I have thought it through. Believe me. You all have your orders. Carry them out. Okay. Well, there you have it. That, uh, that took a very long time. I apologize. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to put a cut in here at long, long last, and I will see you all next time.